Shout out to Toxic Gamer 347 for subscribing. And if you want a shout out, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment. So now, I'm going to show you how to make our round system. So, when you join the game, you have a timer at the corner, and it shows you the time for the intermission. And then when it hits zero, all players must teleport, uh, would teleport to this uh, platform or your maps okay so then the round when it ends and it hits zero all players um, just reset to go back to the spawn so if you want to know how to do that uh, you need to watch the whole video to understand how to make one so I'm going to delete mine and I'm going to restart so I'm going to put a screen GUI and inside the screen GUI I'm going to put two text labels. One of them is going to be the timer. So I'm going to scale it like that. And one the other one is the the text that would show you that it's the timer. Like that. And then you can text scale so it would be as much uh, as much um, like as big as can and then I'm going to put it to the background transparency to zero I'm going to change the font and I'm going to do the same thing with that so I'm going to pick this and let's now make this okay like that you don't need to put zero but I would say uh, it's much better to put it as zero but you don't need to so if you didn't, don't uh, put it to zero it does not really matter I'm going to rename them this will be timer text for example and this will be the time okay and after that in this box I'm going to put a script that would make it um, as a timer okay so put a script inside of it and now let's start scripting okay so we need to make some variables so write in local uh, the round time okay or you can name it anything you want but I'm going to name it round time then we're going to put the round time um, as much as you want I'm going to put it just for 10 for the video and I'm going to make a new one for the intermission okay and I'm going to put it for 10 also so now we need to make another variable okay so we need to make a uh, local text equal to script.parent and then local players plrs or whatever you want but I'm going to call it like that then game the players um, uh, get children Okay, and the last variable local players equal to game um, get service and players. So that's all the variables we need. And now we're going to be uh, starting to script. So the first thing we need to do is uh, um, a while to do loop. So add that, and then uh, two more variables local round time equal to round time over here. An intermission equal to intermission right here. Uh, I don't know, but I learned it like that, so I teach it like this. Uh, I don't know. This is how it works. Uh, so yeah, now and then we will write while intermission over here intermission uh, is bigger than zero. Do text to text uh, talks over here. We can also name a text uh, label. And I'm going to to. Uh, yeah, just because we just want it to be more clear and the text label is uh, the, the parent of the script that we are editing right now then while intermission bigger than zero do uh, text label dot text the text of the text label will be this all the time but this will be changing I thought uh, I taught you the, this in the last episode so watch that if you did not watch it so then we want to make a wait one intermission equal to intermission minus zero okay 
okay after that uh, we will be making it uh, the text equal to round starting you can change this so you can um, just like um, uh, just change this uh, in the green so then wait two. okay so here is um, where we teleport the players so then what we need to do is we need to make uh, the teleporters okay so add a part okay this part okay add another part if you want to make more than one teleporter so then I'm going to be making it more uh, four you can add as many as you want but it will be harder because we will need rename all of those so now group them and then name them teleporter teleporters okay so now rename ev everything to part one then part part uh, two part three and part four you can add as many as you want so now I'm going to take those teleporters and put them over there but we actually want them to be a bit not on the ground so above the ground also take all of them anchor them uh, can collide equal to false and make them invisible so nobody just sees floating parts now back to the script okay for I uh, hashtag players uh, we just made that into a variable so game dot players get children do local number equal to math dot random one to four um, as how much you have teleporters or parts you will be making a lot like you have 10 teleporters you will be needing it to be as much teleporters uh, as over here so I have four teleporters I put it to four okay so players then brackets are uh, the square brackets okay so square brackets and then I which is over here so then uh, character the head dot C frame okay the head of the player then C frame equal to C frame dot new workspace dot teleporters okay workspace dot teleporters don't remove the teleporters from the workspace so put them in the workspace or you can change this um, but no it wouldn't work so then um, square brackets again part and then number the variable that we just did over here uh, and over here the opposition um, I'm going to be linking it in the description the code um, if we maybe hit 15 likes or 10 likes okay so let's continue okay okay so we add another um, another for loop so while round time uh, is uh, bigger than zero do text the uh, label text the label the text equal to remaining uh, you can change this to like a uh, round time or something or whatever you want like you can name it anything you want but I'm going to be making uh, to remain uh, remaining uh, I will change it to remaining time okay so then equal to round time which is over here so then wait one second and then round time equal to round time minus one okay so we're super close to finishing the code so now um, we have the last thing whenever the players are uh, has finished the round they will reset so the round they will teleport again okay so now let's work on that okay so text label after we do that text label the text equal to round ending or something like round ended or something whatever you want to name it so now we do, we do a wait uh, to then for underscore um, then players player in pairs um, then brackets player get children bracket and do a new line if player dot character and player dot character find first child humanoid then player dot character humanoid humanoid take damage 100 so 
this will like automatically just will just take them uh, out so then they will respawn so now we have finished it okay so before I was going to like test the game so teleports and the teleporters are not the same name so be sure to make them the same name so <laughs> that's that was like going to be a disaster it wouldn't work if you did not name them as the same thing so now let's try and see if it works okay so the intermission uh, is uh, now running so round starting in one and round starting so we get teleported to over here and round uh, remaining time we can also call it round uh, time or something anything you want so when it hits zero round ending and we just respawn at over there the spawn so if you have any questions leave it in the comments and I will fix uh, fix like anything if you if you ask me um, any problems in the script or anything um, I'm going to link the uh, script in the description so yeah like the video if you enjoyed it and maybe learn something new and see you guys in the next video goodbye